Hey everybody, Rachel from RatesTheStamper.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put together this really cute card. I don't know if you want to call it like a nerdy card, uh, an old man card, because a lot of times my grandmother would pick out some crazy outfits for my grandfather. He would always be wearing something that did not match whatsoever. So this is kind of an ode to that. I actually saw this idea from someone on Pinterest, so it wasn't my idea, but I thought it was too adorable not to share. So let me make sure I have my right pieces here for what I'm about to tell you. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so what I have is Pacific Point. This is a regular base, four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. I have a quarter sheet of uh, Smoky Slate, four by five and a quarter. This is some of the really awesome DSP. I believe it is called Handsomely Suited DSP. No, that can't be right. I don't know. I'll find out what it is. It'll be listed below, but this is the plaid. This is the other side. So I kind of went with it because it was dark and light. So I have this piece. This is a um, little bit smaller. This is three and a half by four and three quarters because I was trying to fit this whole card on. Once I put it together, you'll understand. I have two pockets cut out of plaid. These are actually going to be the shirt sleeves. I have um, the neck portion of the shirt which I just did contrast. I have the bow tie, so you could really use either side if you want it to be amazingly matchy-matchy, just up to what you want to do. So we could do it like this and then have this be the contrast. I think that might be what I'll do. I have a little pocket piece cut out that I'm going to put on the suspenders. This is silver foil. It does have adhesive backing. Also the same for the um, clasps for the suspenders. And then I had some leftover foil that I used obviously for some crosses and I cut the buttons out. So these already have adhesive. So they'll be very easy to adhere. And then I have one piece for the center of our card. So I'm going to put this together and I'm kind of working just to see if it'll fit. And that's kind of most of what I'm going for here because we're going to put the shirt sleeves back here. And I know you don't really want it to hang over your card, but in order to get it to have that shirt sleeve look, you kind of can't really put it in much farther because it kind of cuts off. So we're going to go with that. And then that's going to lay on top of this. So you might need a little bit larger card than usual or envelope, I should say, than usual. So you could always make one yourself if you have the envelope maker still. So this is going to go down onto our card. We're going to layer the buttons on top. So it should be pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with putting the suspenders together. So I'm going to put, actually, I don't need this because I have adhesive. I forgot. I'm going to take the adhesive off of the back of the clips and I'm kind of trying to line this up. So this round part isn't showing this. So basically you want it to be down kind of close to the bottom. So like that. So there's one. So same for this. Just peel this off here. And same thing. So you kind of see you have that ridge there. You want it to be so the end piece of your suspender sits right there. So that's pretty good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue here. Not a lot. Just a smidge here and here. And then I'm going to put these. So they're kind of up. So I have the corner kind of lined up with the edge of the DSP. I hope that makes sense. So same like that. So kind of that and that. Hopefully that's, yep, that's got enough adhesive. And I hope that makes sense. So I'm having these so they look like the shirt sleeves. So they are going to stick out a little bit farther. Then you probably would want them to, but that's okay. One special envelope, envelope is worth it. I'm going to put some adhesive down here because I want to put this on, but I'm probably going to need to trim it. So I'm not going to go the whole way. We'll start at the bottom. I'm kind of shooting for the center. Let's see, I do want this to be straight. Might need to go over just a little. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to cut this little piece off. I'm going to put this on. You could put this on with um, dimensionals if you wanted to. I'm just going to use glue because we'll add the bow tie with dimensionals. So put him on like so. You just want to make sure this is, again, straight with the top. Okay, so I'm going to put the bow tie on with a dimensional. I don't think a full one's going to fit, so I'm going to use a piece. I'm going to use two pieces. See, these are just the two corners. 
So I'm going to leave this here for a moment because I want to put my suspenders on first. Probably should have tucked those underneath of there. But no worries. We'll figure this out as we go. And pop this on. I will have all the measurements on my blog. So if for some reason you missed me saying something in the beginning, it will be on there. I don't think I can lift this to tuck. Oh, I might be able to. That wasn't on there enough. There you go. That works. Let's see if I can do this one. Okay. That works. We could always put a little glue down if we need to. So now, very carefully, I'm going to just trim these little pieces off. Okay. And I'm going to put my bow tie on. Oh, daggone it. I wanted to do that the other way. ripping it. Yee. That's why I never press my dimensionals on too tight until I'm really sure what I want to do. Whew, that was a close one. There's that. I probably could have trimmed this off up here. So note to yourself, don't let that piece go all the way up because it does look a little goofy. So aside from that, I think we're okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can pop these out and I'm going to put my buttons on. Okay, oops, get the back, I don't want that. So I'm gonna kind of space these, and I know they might be a little shiny <laughs> for buttons, but we're going with them matching the uh, suspenders. This is a very dressy. This is honestly probably exactly something my grandmother would have had my grandfather in because he was always wearing seersucker and plaid at the same time. And my grandmother would say, well, they're both blue. Poor man. All right, and one more. Okay, almost. Up here. All right, and then I have my little last piece. I was just gonna put these on kind of for a little extra effect. So I'm gonna trim this, I'm gonna attempt to trim it in half. And I probably should have adhered these ahead of time, but since they are in half, I'm gonna just make sure that they kind of stay in approximately the same area. If I would have put them on ahead of time, I could have measured and trimmed them to the side. Let me go up just a little bit there. That looks pretty even. Okay, so there's that. Let me move all this out of the way. Don't want to lose that die. That's probably one of the hardest part about this stamp set is some of the dies are really tiny. That and between that and the birds, I have uh, misplaced a few things. All right, so then I'm going to put some and I'm going to make sure I really get a good amount right around here because I don't want any of this to come off. But we're going to put this onto our smoky slate layer. Kind of like so. And I don't know if this necessarily matches with the Pacific Point, but I think it's enough that it really is, really is cute. Super cute card. And this card is so cool in the front. Honestly, I think I would save the intimate, save the intimate, save the sentiment for the inside. There you go. Really cute. Super fun card. I love it. Again, you do have your little fly off things, but I think they're really cute. If you would like to get any of the supplies to make this card and more, you can check out my online store, ratesthestamper.stampinup.net. Again, all of the measurements for this will be on my blog. You can find all the products used in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love if you would give me a thumbs up. And while you're here, why not subscribe? That way, the next time I go live, you'll see it right as it pops out. Thanks for watching.